All right, NT8 on the porch. We're gonna have a fun time on this one. <coughs> I'm sure y'all heard about the uh, the coup attempt in Turkey, and I was talking to a couple people last night on uh, Skype, and I said, I don't know which side is the good guys, but I will guarantee you one thing, Obama will pick the wrong side. So Obama came out and supported uh, the Democratic government. I don't know how much you all know about Turkey and its history and its politics. The military for Turkey has always been the stabilizing factor for all this bullshit. Kind of like Egypt. Remember when Obama and Hillary came out and said, oh, we need to support uh, the Muslim Brotherhood. Well, that turned out to be a bad fucking deal. So, the military said, no, fuck this, we're not doing this. And they overthrew the government. Morsi. Muslim Brotherhood. Well, let's go overthrow Qaddafi. Really? That was a bad fucking move, too. What do you got in Libya now? Now that they overthrew Qaddafi. Wasn't that fucking great? Oh, yeah. Now you got ISIS in Libya. What's the next one? Um, or further back. Uh, there's another one. They keep doing this dumbass shit. They have no clue what the fuck they're doing. So, now they're going to support the Democratic government of Turkey. And what do you got? Now you got another Muslim that wants to turn his country into an Islamic regime. And I'll put some links in the box. You can check them out. It's not just me that think this way. Um, Ambassador, former Ambassador John Bolton, he sees the writing on the wall. So, the problem is, now you're going to have an Islamic State inside of NATO. How smart is that? Now, when, when Dickwad overthrew the coup, okay, for granted, he went out and arrested everybody that was tied to the coup. But the next thing he did is he went out and arrested, I think last count was over 100 judges. Is it a military coup? Why are you arresting judges? He's arresting judges in order to put in Sharia law. Because it's no longer democratic. He's going to install the Islamic State of Turkey. Don't be stupid. Just realize 
that Obama and Hillary, who Hillary said, oh yeah, we gotta support the Democratic, we gotta support the Democratic, uh, democratically elected government. You have no clue what the fuck you're even talking about. This shit is gonna go on and on and on. If you vote for Hillary, this shit is gonna get fucking worse. Day after day after day. So, you got an Islamist government in Turkey. Are they gonna keep the uh, freedom fighters from uh, going into Syria? Which we already know they're not doing. I mean, if you're an American, you can fly to Turkey and then you can cross the border into Syria and go join ISIS. Man, you gotta understand what the hell is going on here. And I tell you what, Trump understands it. He's just on the uh, recoil trying to be nice without calling him out as much. But yeah, he knows what the deal is. So, stand by for more terror raids. Terror attacks. And then, I'll tell you something else. I can't, un I cannot understand why Belgium, France, who else has been attacked? The United States, um, and now Turkey, why don't they invoke Article 5 of the NATO Convention? You know, an attack on one nation is an attack on all 28 of us. Why aren't, why aren't they doing that? Why have they not invoked that? We've got to get a coalition together. And not Obama's 66 fucking members of his bullshit coalition. We've got to go in there and we've got to kick their ass. What Russia's going to have to say about it, I really don't give a shit. You got 28 nations. I think uh, 10 of them have nukes. What is Putin gonna do? He's not gonna nuke anybody. He's gonna take his ass beaten and give up. All right, I'm NT8 on the porch. Um, you know, Muslim lives matter and Black lives matter and. What happened to the Indians? Why don't red lives matter anymore? Talk to you later.